Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. And thank you again to everybody. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. What we're going to talk about tonight is SSH credentials, the different types, and how you use them on your UDM or your UDM Pro. And that is your Unified Dream Machine or your Uni Unified Dream Machine Pro. There's two different site, two different types of credentials. We're going to go over to the computer in just a second and take a look at those. The one type of credentials is an actual device authentication credential, and you can replace it with SSH keys. You'll see that, but that actually gets you into devices that are joined to the UDM or the UDM Pro site. And then there's the actual SSH credentials for the UDM itself or the UDM Pro and what you're going to need to know to do that. And you are, for some upcoming videos, going to need to know those SSH credentials. So let's hop on over to the computer and check it out. All right, so here we are at our UDM Pro. Um, if you uh, have, have made it this far, you obviously have a UDM or UDM Pro. So we're at our main screen here. So we're going to launch the network, which is Unify, which is what we're used to, right? So everything is great. So if we go into settings, and uh, by default, you're not going to get uh, the, the dark uh, new settings. You can go to that or what we can do. I'll show you how to get there both places. So to get to the SSH device credentials under site, you have to enable advanced features and then go down and click apply. And then you're going to get this device authentication right here. This is where you can add the keys or you can see it has a randomly created username and password here. This is to actually SSH into other devices besides the Dream Machine Pro. The Dream Machine Pro itself needs a different set of credentials. So this is for devices that are connected to the UDM Pro. And I'm looking around trying to see if I've got anything uh, connected. I'll connect the device, uh, we'll adopt it, and I'll show you that. So you can get to it here, or if you're under the new settings, you go down to network settings, device authentication, and it's right here. So real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a device and we're going to adopt it in. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so uh, there was a little incident with the H Flex HD AP. So I brought in a Unify Flex Switch 5 PoE and adopted that. So what we're going to do is we are going to SSH over to this. And you can see it says connection refused. And that is because by default, this is going to be disabled once a device is adopted. So how you're going how we're going to enable that is we're going to go to uh, either site and enable advanced features here, or we're going to go to uh, new and after you apply that, then you'll scroll down over, or we're going to go to network setting, device authentication. We're going to enable it, and we can choose any uh, username and password here that we want to use, or we can load that SSH key. So we'll hit apply. We go back to classic mode and we go to enable advanced features and apply. Then you're going to see that username and password show up there. So now once the devices have all provisioned, and you can see that this is now provisioning to take that change, we should be able to do an SSH admin, uh, admin at uh, let's see. So now put in that username and password, and now you can see that we are um, SSH'd in. If we exit out and we do 
uh, UBNT with a UBNT, you will see that it doesn't work. It has to be that username and password. Now, the other set of credentials that we talked about were, were the actual SSH credentials for the UDM Pro. And you can see, we'll do this. And you will see that uh, SSH is also not allowing so we're going to hop back out to our UDM Pro and we're going to go to settings and what we're going to do then is we're going to go to it by the way if you haven't looked at this this is a pretty nice a pretty nice uh, dashboard what we're going to do is we are going to go into advanced here and we are going to enable SSH. Now it's going to ask us for an SSH password. So we can set this here. We're going to go ahead and hit uh, confirm and then we can come back here and we can change that password at any time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to SSH is root we're going to put in that password that we just put in on this screen. And now you can see that we are SSH'd into the actual UDM itself. So you are going to need this in some upcoming videos. So make sure you know how to get here and how to enable it. So that is the two different uh, types of SSH that we're dealing with, with the UDM and the UDM Pro. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And all of our affiliate links are also labeled as such, and they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple of bucks over to the channel. So if you want to use those to support us, feel free to do that. But don't feel like you're under any obligation. I want to thank you again for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.